My name is Brett Richardson. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, and I am 33 years old. I was diagnosed with chronic pancreatitis uh, at a young age, at the age of 17. I had lived with pain for a long time, and they finally realized that something was going on with my pancreas. Uh, it really wasn't until I was around 24 that they realized that it was hereditary chronic pancreatitis. For the longest time, I just would constantly, up and down, have severe belly pain. Uh, it would radiate into my back. It would radiate up into my chest. Um, sometimes it would incapacitate me. Some days I could just live with it. But it was basically just constant pain. Between pain medication and digestive enzymes and the diet was really the only way that I knew how to try and control it. You know, unfortunately, if I wasn't on Dilaudid or, or morphine, um, it got to a point where I couldn't control the pain. A year later, uh, I'm here for my one-year follow-up, and it is the absolute best medical decision that I ever made. Um, I might not have said that, like, a week after the surgery, or a couple weeks after the surgery, uh, but really not that long after. I mean, it took me th three to four months to really get back to uh, w what I felt was normal for me. Taking away the pain medication, the hospitalizations, the pain, the being out of work, the being away from my family, taking those things out of the equation, it was a no-brainer. I would do it tomorrow if I hadn't made the decision last year. Uh, I haven't had, I, I've had a few episodes of, I guess what they refer to as phantom pain, and the phantom pain is, I would take that any day of the week, uh, you know, compared to, I would, I would take that every day, you know, compared to the pain that I used to experience when my pancreas would flare up. Uh, but I haven't had pain to this point. Um, in over three months at all, and probably haven't had severe pain in 10 months. I am here for my one-year checkup. Uh, I'll be here for checkups periodically throughout probably the rest of my life, um, or at least the, the immediate part of it. When I was considering the transplant, I actually went online to look for videos. Um, so I hope this video does encourage someone getting out of that cycle of, you know, having pain, having pain, taking pain medication, living a doped up lifestyle, and having to be a, maybe a husband, a father, a hard worker at work, whether it's a white collar or a blue collar job. You know, pain medication is not good for either of them. It's it's been the the number one best decision I've ever made medically, and I've had to make a lot of them 